Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And if you have watched any of my videos this week, you know that I have had an Ace Beauté week where I used all my four palettes I have from Ace Beauté. And today I am doing a palette bingo. So I'm going to take one shade from each of the palettes. Is that enough with four shades? It is. So that is what I'm going to do today. So I think we just hop into this. So I will start with the Flare palette, then the Oceanic, Vintage Dawn and then Scarlet Dusk because it was in that order that I did. And Flare and Oceanic has 15 shades. Or 18? 15? 18? 15? 15? 15. <laughs> 15. So I'm going to random.org and we're going to see. If so from Flare, number 3 and Oceanic. Number nine. Can I remember this? Three and nine, I think. And the Vintage Dawn, it's called the Dusk, has 12. So from Vintage Dawn, I'm going to take one and Scarlet Dusk, one. So from the Flare palette, a number three, that is Aubergine going to swatch them all together and from Oceanic I got 9 so 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 Marina so I at least have one shimmer and Vintage Dawn I got number 1 so it's Sun up here it's 2 shimmers now I think it's a light shimmer in Scarlet Dusk as well. No, it is a matte. So Sunset Rose. Okay, an interesting color story. So I will try to swatch these on my arm. So this is from the Flare palette. Oceanic. Vintage Dawn. And Scarlet Dusk. So it is these four shades, so two mattes and two shimmers. Okay, I'm going to stare at this a little bit and try to decide what I want to do and see if we can get a look out of this. I wish I didn't get two shimmers, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm going to have to see what I will do with this. I think I just will take the easy way out. I will start with one from Vintage Dawn. No, Scarlet Dusk, that is Sunset, Sun, Sunset Rose, this one, and put it in my crease, because I feel like the other matte shade Aubergine was like too dark to have in my crease alone. Maybe not, but I feel so, so I just take this in my crease. And I think I had this in my crease when I used the Scarlet Dusk as well, but I really like this shade, so I have nothing against that. So I think on my crease that I will go with the Shimmer Dark Blue from the Oceanic and the Purple from Flare. But I think this Shimmer Blue is the darker one, and why do I have blue eyeshadow on my arm? I think this shimmer blue is darker than the purple. So I actually think that I will have this on my outer half of my lid. So it's a marina. And okay, I think I got a little bit too much. So I'm taking it out here. I will just have to see if I am going to be able to like smudge this up in my crease. So not wrecking. Some shimmers is working so good that you will like blend them up in your crease. They often miss like the shimmer to it, you like blend it way so it's just getting matte. But some are so 
so hard to do this with, but I actually think that this is going somewhat okay. I think it looks kind of cool against the Sunset Rose that I have in my crease. It's making it not so <laughs> bright and fun. So far, so good. I think I'm happy with the blue shimmer like this. The only thing like I had to... Oh, I have to pack it on a little bit more out here. <laughs> when I blended, some of the shimmers did go away. Nothing strange about that. So I just went over with a little bit more and... Uh, a crazy fallout situation happened. But I'm going into the flare now and I'm taking Aubergine. This one, do I point the right one? Yes, I do. I like don't know how some people can point at the right shadow without looking in the viewfinder because that is hard. Where am I? <laughs> but this, Aubergine. So I'm taking that on the rest of my lid. Now I'm going to say something that might sound a little bit strange. I could have taken the sun uh, from the Winter Storm palette, the light yellow shimmer, but it's something I don't like to mix yellow and blue on my eyes. Not because I don't think it goes together, because I think it does, but like the Swedish flag, it has a blue background and a yellow cross and every time I mix blue and yellow it feels like I'm doing the Swedish flag on my eyes. I don't know if any of you Swedes have the same problem or if you are from another country and do the colors that are on your flag on your eyes but I just I don't like it. I don't know why I have nothing against the Swedish flag like doesn't bother me but it doesn't feel it's like the only thing that I can think of when I see the makeup look I can only think of the Swedish flag I don't know why but that's just how it is for me so I hate when I'm doing a Bella Bingo and I get like blue and yellow because then I'm like no I do not want to do a flag inspired makeup look Please tell me that some of you feel like the same way as I do. Okay, these two? Looks really good together. I'm maybe not super thrilled about the shade in my crease, but I think that this purple would have been a little bit like too dark to have in my crease. I don't know, but do I like even care about it? Probably not, but and I don't know like with the flag thing, you know, when it is like hockey, ice hockey, hockey, ice hockey championships and football or soccer as it's called in US you, the fans like in the audience often like draw <laughs> the flag of the country on their cheeks and I don't know if maybe it feels like I'm going to a hockey game or like a football game I don't know maybe that is why I don't like to have the colors of the flag on my eyes it might be that one okay to put this purple, pinkish purple, over the blue shimmer, looks kind of cool, I do think it looked better on this eye than on this eye, I don't know why, but I feel like I might want to go in with, okay, it's a lot of palettes and it's a lot of brushes everywhere, I'm <laughs> going in with a blue shimmer again. I think it's really raining outside. And some people like 
Oh, the Swiss summer never comes. It is here. It's raining and it's 15 degrees outside. This is the Swedish summer. Swedish summer. It was a lot of sh sounds. Okay. Yeah. I think I go like this, actually. I think this looks good. So the only shade that I have left is from the Vintage Dawn and it's Sun, this one, and I think I just will pop this in my inner corner or maybe like down here as well. So I will take away this crazy amount of wallet that I got, fix my base and then we do the under eyes together. I haven't quite decided what I want to do with my lower lash. I think I actually might go in with Aubergine, the purpley one, and put it on my whole lower lash. I might do that, I just hope it doesn't look too dark. I will go in with the blue one, Marina, just to have it a little bit on the outside just I really hope it will stick so I don't get fall out so I tap it off and then just try to put it on a little bit here it's working just not to have or for it to go together with my little little bit so and for the last thing From the Vintage Dawn palette, I will take Sun, this one that I haven't used, and pop it in my inner corner. Okay, I am done with the eye look. I will put something in my waterline. I might want to take something purple, I think. <laughs> and I'm going to fix that, fix my mascara and the lipstick. For my wash line I used Piggy Bank from Colourpop and on my lips I used Freaking Frack from Colourpop. This is an ultra setting lip. And this is my Colourpop, I almost said my palette bingo with the four palettes I have from Ace Pute. I like the look, it's nothing like wrong with it, but I wouldn't have done this if I had a choice to do it. I hope you get what I mean. I really like how the blue and the purpley shade went together on my lid. I would have taken something else in my crease. I don't know what from these palettes. I don't know if there is like... Because it has to be from one of these. I don't know what I wished for. Maybe this was like the best choice. But maybe some from Scarlet Dusk. Maybe Lotus has would have been better. I don't know. But I have nothing to complain about. I'm trying to close all the palettes. I have nothing to complain about. This works. But as I said, it wouldn't be something that I would do on my own if I had a choice. So this is the end of my Ace Pute week. I just want to thank you everybody for all your comments and you have seemed to love this week and that makes me so so happy it has been so fun to use my ace tape palettes more because i usually don't use them and i actually thought that i could do maybe a little bit of review of the four palettes i have now in this video and one thing that i think is i'm just going to take the palettes one thing that i think is really good when you have a lot of palettes from one brand and want to like compare them it's really good to use them like after each other so this these weeks my theme weeks oh my god i cannot talk today it feels like when i do these theme weeks i can really like compare the palettes from the same brand and that is really good because then it feels like I can give you like a better review and to recommend some of the palettes. Because now the latest 
five times now <laughs> that I've done my makeup. This, yeah, a little bit over a week. I didn't film all the videos this week. No, I filmed four of them. But it feels like first I used the flare palette and then I used the oceanic and then I remember how the flare palette was. So it's really good like to compare them instead of using maybe one palette and then it takes five weeks before I use the next one. So that is really good and it feels like I can give a better review and recommendations when it comes to Ace Bichet and the four palettes I have. So I'm going to do that and I hope that you will appreciate it. So maybe I should start with the flare palette. And I just want to say this, I know that Ace Bichet are a little bit known for having a tricky formula. Or it feels like either you love it or you hate it. I really really like it, almost love it, so I don't have any problems with it and it might doesn't work for you, just so you know. But with the flare palette, I think this is the palette I recommend the most of the palettes. It looks like this. The thing that I really think is good with this palette, you can do a lot with this. I think it's have a really good variation and I actually don't think I have any problems with any of these colors. They are all really really good and the mattes are amazing. And you have some warmer tones, you have some cold tones, you have some darker ones and the shimmers are really different. So this I would recommend if you want a palette that you can use for a lot of makeup looks. This isn't like one one look palette. It has 15 shades and I think it's a really really good mix. You can go super colorful, you can do a super amazing orange look, which I love. You can do a blue look if you want to, you can do a natural look if you want to, you can do a more greenish look if you want to. So this is the palette that I would recommend the most. I think you will get the most use out of it and even though it has a lot of different colors, it's not hard to do a look with it. In my opinion. So the flare palette is the one that I would recommend the most. I think it's the most versatile and it's just so so good and this is the one that I've used the most. So hey, maybe that's because I really like it. So the next palette is the oceanic palette, the blue and the green palette. It looks like this. This is one of my favorite blue and green palettes I have. Not that I don't have that many, but this is one of my favorites. The one thing that I can really recommend this for is if you want really good deeper colors and also a little bit more grungy colors like this anemone and seaweed and yellowfish and a little bit of seagrass and this algae is so so good but also like the deepest the three deepest matte blue colors and green, uh, the blue clam, Pacific and Lagoon, they are really, really good. And the shimmers are really good in this palette as well. This Mykonos is a little bit, it's better with glitter glue, but like the other shimmer shades are really good. And I think this is also an easy palette to do. You can do a dark blue look, you can do a dark green look, you can do a grungy green look, you can do a really fun bright blue look. So I think this is a really good mix with green and blue and also with shimmers and with mattes. That is something that I really appreciate with palettes like, okay I want to do a dark blue eye so I can take Lagoon as a matte and then I can take marina as a shimmer or I want to do something grungy I can take seaweed and anemone and there I like almost have a finished look so I would recommend this if you want a good variation of green and blue and a good mix between matte and shimmers so if you're looking for that I would recommend it then we can take a Winter Dawn. This is <laughs> actually the palette that I struggle with most. 
it has 12 shades and it's more like the color story is better than the formula. I am more intrigued like it just to look at it than to use it. I used all the shades in this and I got some hard pants in the shimmers. Golden Hour works good, Gleam works good, and Sun works good. Serengeti and Dew is a bit like that. The matte shades are really good and this yellow is a really nice yellow and this orange is a really good orange. But I have problems to do many different looks with this. It's like a small rainbow palette, but it's like I don't I can do like an amazing orange look with this one that is so easy and I can do a deeper blue. But then like with the green and the browns I'm a little bit stuck there. And I don't you can use this palette on your own. It's no problems at all. But I think that for me this is maybe more like a compliment palette even though it has a really lot of colors but it's just like I don't know I, I don't reach for this that much I when I first saw it and I, when I got it home I was so so happy but when I started to use it I'm like I don't know I can do <laughs> my orange look but then it's like the end of the palette for me. I think the quality is not as good as in the other palettes I have. But the mattes are good. But it's like I don't know. It doesn't feel like I get that many looks out of it. I wish it wasn't too like a brownish shades. And maybe I would just want to keep this fade one. And maybe have a green shimmer or a lighter blue matte shade i don't know but it's just something and i don't know if like serengeti golden hour gleam and sun is good in this palette i think if you just switch out one or two shades i would love it i would love it but now i don't know i would like to have actually i think a green shimmer like switch out serengeti to a green shimmer but yeah, it's good, <laughs> but it's not the palette I recommend. Then if we go in to Scarlet Dusk, this palette does something to me. I don't know what, what it is, but I really like it. This is orange and pink. And this has a lot of like the same matte shadows. But it doesn't bother me because this is really good and I like that it is orange so you can do like an orange look if you want to and you can do a pink look if you want to but you can also do a really like deep look if you want that too. The only thing is, okay was it hibiscus that I used? This is a little bit trick to work with. The other ones like Aurora, Maui and Aruba. Aruba I only had in my inner corners but it felt really creamy. Need to use it more to know super much about it. But otherwise I think this palette is really good. If you're looking for something pinkish and you want some orange to it I would recommend this. It's a small palette but I think it has a lot of a lot. It has a good mix between light shades and dark shades and that I really really like. So this one I would recommend if you want a little bit of pink but not too much of pink. Maybe you are like me you don't like pink that much but you want something pink in your life. I would recommend this and the mattes in this are really good. Maybe the only thing I have to as a little not complain but so you just know. I think it was, it has to be shade. This doesn't look like this on your eyes. It has a little bit more like a red to it. It's easy to spot it if you swatch it, but me, 
I normally don't swatch. But yeah, I would recommend this if you want something. A pink palette, but with a little bit more depth to it. I would recommend this. And I think this is good. This is better than the Vintage Dawn in the formula and color story wise. And you know what? <laughs> that is all for this video. I really hope that you liked this little bit of review. I'm thinking maybe I should try to do this in my law. If I do, I will do. When I do, should I just give my brain a little bit of a break? I think I will keep continue to do this when I do theme weeks that in the last video for the week I will do a review and recommend and talk a little bit about the palettes but uh, and I hope that you will like it and if any of you are thinking about buying a Ace Beauté palette I will definitely recommend Flare, Oceanic and Scarlet Dusk and then it just depends on which color story you like the most. But if you just want to try one, I would recommend the Flare palette. I think this is a palette that you will get the most use out of. And I think you will like this the most. The Oceanic and the Scarlet Dusk are a little bit more... Maybe... Like, okay, you want a green and blue palette, then you buy the Oceanic. You want a pinkish palette, then you buy Scarlet Dusk. But if you just want an eyeshadow palette that you can do a lot with, the Flare palette. Go for it. Okay, I will stop talking now. This video is so much longer than I thought it was going to be in the beginning. But thank you so much for all the support this week. It has been so fun to do this. And I promise that I will try to be better to answering comments. I have been like ashamed out, ashamed of how slow I've been to answer the comments for this week, but it's not. I'm trying to find a balance with like uploading and answering comments. Uploading it goes better with answering comments go like shit. But I see you, I love you, and thank you so much. And I hope that I will see you next week. Next week it's going to be a normal week again. Maybe the week after will be a theme week. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I what I feel like. But yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!